Alright guys, Black Horns are around, welcome back to another video, and today we're back for the sixth and final stage of the Santos Tour Down Under. Um, the one stage that's actually going to change probably the GC uh, with the finish at the top of the Willinger Hill. Uh, stage has been moved now to the finale of the tour, which in my opinion is good, uh, because like it was just in, like the boring 80 kilometer, like criterium. Um, inside Adelaide so nice to see some change and um, if you haven't watched the five previous stages please make sure to go ahead and do so uh, so that you can understand what um, like why does the GC looks like that uh, which I'm now showing you with Richie Port leading from Darrell MP and Pierre Latour my lead is eight seconds uh, over the uh, South African champion who just won fourth stage in real life I think um, was it fourth yeah yeah, I think he just won fourth stage, and uh, he's going to be looking to keep his title on the Tour Down Under against Richie Port to keep the Oka jersey. I know I called it orange jersey. I uh, realized it's Oka, so apologies on that. Uh, but without further ado, let's jump into the race and um, bring the jersey home. And the sixth stage is on the way for this Tour Down Under final stage. Um... Of, uh, of the Australian Tour with Richie Port, homeboy leader of the GC right now and um, we're gonna, I'm just going to show you like the uh, entire rankings so Port is first 8 seconds ahead of Darrell Impey and 45 seconds of um, wait no 18 seconds of Pierre Latour 45 of Domenico Pote de Vivo uh, 55 of Lucy Valgren and Pulse um, but I don't think they'll be able to like, do anything GC wise for me the Battle for the t for like the win is between myself with Richie Port, Darrell MP, and Pierre Latour from uh, Age de Zerle Mondial. Um, like e even though 18 seconds is quite a big lead um, with the Bullinger Hill, it's not usually like a climb that gives you uh, a lot of time. The points ranking is led by Mathieu Ladanius, uh, who's been like in literally every breakaway on this tour, uh, followed by Elia Viviani. Uh, despite his two wins and a Richie Port in third place. Don't think I'll be able to get this jersey. One I might get though is the mountain one. Uh, I'm four points behind Matthew Ladanius and I don't think he'll be in the breakaway today. So hopefully I can take points at the summit of the Wollongong Hill and uh, bring uh, this jersey. Like if I can't bring the Oka one, then if I can bring like the polka dot one, that'll still be something, even though it'll be disappointing. Uh, white jersey is still on Davide Ballerini's um, shoulders, and the best team is Drake. We have a breakaway already, okay, uh, wait, I've been leading the peloton, uh, I meant to stop that, okay. Alright, we've got a breakaway with CS Ball, uh, no, CS, CS Ball, I don't know, I can't remember. Um, Gregor Mühlberger und, und? <laughs> and Jascha Sutelin, um, again, like, Sutelin has been in a lot of breakaways, so, I don't know, like, why is that happening on PCM, why literally every... Uh, like why are the breakaways with literally the same rider all the time um, but I'm just gonna like start leading the peloton a bit because I mean I don't like what's going on right now uh, no one's pacing no one's riding and uh, hopefully if things clear I'll be able to uh, reach the Willinger Hill with no real issues that's the aim at least okay uh, if I told you that this was one of the most boring stages I've ever had to go through on PCM, uh, would you trust me? Because, like, nothing happened. There hasn't been a single incident. Um, the breakaway didn't even sprint for the uh, intermediate points. So we've reached the p like the bottom of the first Willinger Hill. Uh, and, yeah, just nothing. Absolutely nothing. Breakaway is still in the lead, uh, about 240, 245. Never got like massive uh i think the big the big, the biggest lead we had uh was about like 310 320 something like that um but yeah lo nothing happened um which i mean is is good uh for richie but it's not good because i can't i don't have any like actual interesting content um except the willing gale there's been an attack though in the peloton luke Rowe and Daniel Fominink, uh, I have no idea why. Are they, is that leader like somewhat close in the GC? Wood Pulse, seventh. Uh, Luis Lance Sanchez, twelfth. Okay, 
Now, um, Kundekot is going to drop from the top 10. That's something I know. There's an, another attack. That's Luis Mars Bonnet. Uh, oh, someone's clear on his own. Gregor Mulberger is now on his own in the um, well, in what's left from the breakaway. Okay, that's interesting. There's four dropped, including William Clark. I mean, I'm not surprised. He's not having a great day. Um, where's Kiel? You know what, we're, we're gonna pace a bit with Kilrainen. Trying to uh, reel down Gregor Mulberger as we uh, enter the final 20 kilometers of this stage. We're gonna ask Ryan Mullen to give us some water as well. Alright, Peter Stettiner taking Kilrainen's wheel now. 16 kilometers left in this 2019 Santos Tour Down Under. Uh, Kundekot is back as well. I'm not gonna use him just because he's in the top 10 of the GC and seeing his stats, probably not gonna be of any use uh, in um, in this chase. We're gonna catch Jasha Sutelin um, probably before the foot of the uh, of the Willinger Hill. I would hope so at least. I need Ryan to give us as like the water thing. Thank you very much, Ryan. Uh, I'll not. I'm, I'm not gonna use him. I, I won't use him. Uh, okay, we've got Jasha Sutelin back. Now it's whether I can catch Gregor Mulberger, and I probably will, maybe even before the start of the Willinger Hill. It seems, uh, well, he'll he'll start first, but um, probably won't be uh, for uh, for long, as we're now in the first uh, the first few slopes of the hill. Reinen stepping aside. Richie has been blocked by Mulberger. Break, brilliant. Michael Woods has attacked. Followed by Dominico Pozzovivo and Peter Sagan. Uh, I have to say, I'm I'm really not the best at this Wollonga Hill. Uh, I I have no idea how to do it. Um, I don't know. I've never like I don't even think I've ever won it on PCM like since it finished like that. Uh, we've got two two riders in the lead. Um, well, we're gonna pace now with Yarlinson. Richie is still like somewhat in a very good shape. 900 meters left. Yarlinson Pantano. Launches his attempt at sprinting, followed by Richie Port. Probably not going to take the win, but at least it's going to be the GC win as Domenico Pozzovivo wins at the summit of the Willinger Hill, followed by Richie Port, Michael Woods, Jarlinson Pantano, Pierre Latour, Peter Cetina, Jan Polank, George Bennett, and Diego Ulissi to round up the top 10. Daryl Impe finishes in a 14th position. Yep, 14th position for uh, the South African champion. Uh, very weird finish. That's, I, I swear, like that's very neat because there was a, a flat bit after a, like a hard left, and it, I don't think it was like that. I can't remember. Was it like that? I don't know. Um, okay, I'm just gonna try not to be last now with uh with William Clark. But I don't. So, have I been second like every stage, or top? No, because Kill got fourth yesterday. And Kuhn got said at the first stage. Richie Port has never won a stage, yet he's probably gonna have both the jerseys, well, all three jerseys um, on the podiums, which we're now gonna see. Dominique Petitvo winning 10 seconds ahead of Richie Port, Michael Woods, Jarlinson, Pantano, 21 seconds ahead of Pierre Latour, uh, leading the, uh, the peloton. We're gonna see what that means GC wise, with obviously the win for the Trek Sigafredo rider, Richie Port. 2nd position, Daryl Impey, 3rd position, Domenico Pozzovivo, 4th position, Pierre Latour, 5th position, Diego Lissi, Valgren, Woodpulse, Peter Sagan, Michael Woods and Kundekort are running out the top 10. Kundekort finishing in the top 10 of the willing, um, of the Down Under actually. Um, very, very good stuff. Richie Port also taking the Polka Dodge jersey on the, of Mathieu Ladenius shoulders. Um, disappointing for him because Ladenius was literally like everywhere. Mulberger takes fourth, um, Pazuvo takes third with uh, only one climb, the uh, Willinger Hill uh, like, win. Points wise, we also get the jersey with Richie, 32 points over Mathieu Ledenius once again. Uh, that reminds me of like my Tour de France with FDJ. Uh, I got second everywhere. Second overall, second at points, second at mountain, second at young, and second at team. I was second everywhere. And uh, we're the best team. I, I don't think that changed. Oh, yeah. Best young rider, Davide Ballerini, keeps his jersey. Thanks for, to his win on the fourth stage of the year down under. 
The best team is Strike Sigur Freider, as I mentioned. And um, we'll see the final ever standings for the Down Under 2019. Well, 2019 Down Under. Um, okay, so Darren P finished in the same time as Pierre Latour. Wow, it's a massive group. You're telling me, like, 80 riders finished in the same time as Pierre Latour. Now, nah, I would like to disagree on that. I don't think Ryan Mullen and Kundekort finished in the exact same time. But why not? Uh, last position was, well, Jascha Sutterlin and Chase Ball. I think they were the breakaway. Gregor Mulberger, he was in the breakaway as well. So I think the climb was quite rapid. Uh, GC-wise, that's how it looks. Kundekort saving his top 10 for 6 little seconds over the um, New Zealand rider. New Zealandish rider. Wait, New Zealandish? Neo. Kiwi. George Bennett. Um, but yeah, sprint, we've got the jersey. Everything, except from the young rider, uh, has been brought back by, um, by Trek Sigafredo. So, uh, if you've enjoyed this um, mini series, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I will do every UCI World Tour race this year. Um, so, I, I, don't, I don't know if I'll do the classics. Uh, like the small one, and the next one is the um, Cad Elevens Road Race. Maybe I'll do it. I don't know. Um, but if I was to do it, which team would you want me to pick? Please let me know in the comments down below. Um, but um, I've been Blackwall. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye.